Welcome back. Uh, we are, we've unearthed our first El Vibrato portal and it, there's definitely nothing creepy going on that the game literally tried to stop us from doing it. Here we go. Okay, this looks like a new location. Bend over to examine the device and accidentally stub your toe on it. It hurts, but the box moves. It must be lighter than it looks. Is there a reason not to take it? Grab the device, the professor will want to see this. Look inside this thing. Ah, no, you have learned the Alvarado word for toilet. Well, it's my birthright to stick my hand in it, right? The monolith is dark. It says Norcha Parcha Nunkabe Zevsum Cholacho Puchezeve. Trapezoidal section is missing from this box. Do I need another keystone? Circular hole. Trapezoidal hole. Might be a doorway, but there's no keyhole or handles or anything. Strange device has three buttons on top of it. Leave them be. And I can't interact with these. Okay, I feel like it's probably a good idea to just get out of here. If it lets me just... Is it going to let me just ride my horse out of the portal location? Because that's really funny. Seems so. <laughs> okay, Professor. What have we... Uh, what did I pick up here? I recovered this device from one of those weird Elvarado ruins. The Professor would surely like to see it. Well... Here you go, bud. Good to see you again. Have you had a chance to take the keystone to the lost Dutch oven mine and look for that unusual pile of rocks? You can always make a keystone with five more El Vibrato scrap in that machine there. I have indeed. Did you find anything interesting? Show him the strange device. Hey, Professor, I found a thing. Great, let's see. Aha, marvelous find. This device makes batteries, or will once I've fixed it. Batteries. Yep, the El Vibratoans powered their portable equipment with a little electric marbles, like the one I put in your transponder. I'm sure I don't have to tell you, a regular source of those will be incredibly useful. Awesome. Okay, so I can make more batteries. So I guess... I mean, this is incredibly cursed looking. You can't really see this one very well. I guess I could... So he's just taken the El Vibrato things and nailed some wood and some scrap looking metal to them. Okay. Sure. Why not? Um, let me look at this map again. Okay. So we've got Two on this side of the mountain, two on that side of the mountain, and then coming on the other side of the river, which we haven't reached yet. Which doesn't really... Oh, no, it does. Okay, Humming Cave, Lost Dutch Oven Mine, probably two things here. And then... Because I think that lines up with the... And then, like, there. Cause that lines up with this little like finger inlet thing right above the little thingy yeah like right there so there's probably something else near the railroad camp yeah I mean Corsairs pick up and she suddenly veers off course. You approach a weird clearing full of piles of rocks. They make your ears ring somehow. You discover a new map location, the West Pole. Dismount and investigate. The 
the West Pole, Pile of Weird Rocks, Nothing special about it apart from the fact that it isn't in a pile with the other rocks. Examine it. Pick it up. Oof, it's way heavier than it looks. You can't budget it at all. Weird. All these plants are bending in towards the pole. These rocks are strange. They don't seem to weigh as much as they should, and they're sort of drawn to each other. You could probably make an interesting cairn out of them. Powerful mystical suave. I'm kind of scared of messing with this. I think I'm going to leave this alone. Kind of freaks me out. You encounter a goblin wearing a battered cowboy hat, two large spurs, and a rusty sheriff's badge. It seems extremely excited to have spotted you, and though it tries to put on a stern face, it can't mask its glee. Freezing crimes doer, you're underneath arrest. What? Why? What did I doing? Crimes, you so much criming. I never am criming. Telling it a judge at a judge, crimes doer. Talk to it in goblin tongue. What makes you saying I'm a crimer? Um, well, looking at you. Looking at all this criming. Hornswoggle him. Oh no, please, I am cutting deals. Letting me go. And I am telling you where is, is a real crimes mastermind. Oh, gasp. Okay. The terrible and evil Black Bart is doing so many crimes. Gosh, unthink unthinkingable criming he is doing. Where? He is that away going. The goblin runs away excitedly, spurs a jangling. Phew. Wandering Sally. Alright, what do you got? I don't remember if the soap had a use before. Did we have soap before? This is what happens when you play a game like this not over like a single weekend or something like that. <laughs> For all I know I might have soap already and I wouldn't even know it. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll buy the soap. It's not much. And, um... Oh, let's see. Is there anything else? Probably not. Alright, let's, uh keep wandering lone tombstone off the side of the trail is the final resting place of Sam treasure haver who died many years ago clearly going to dig him up was that any good just sell it you know it sure would be nice if these things would sort. I guess maybe this is the way I'm supposed to do it, just by value, but then I have like... I guess maybe this is all it is? Well... It's still not great, but it's better than nothing. Um, but I don't need the meat, so I'm kind of tempted not to sell it, even though it says just sell it, because I like to be a contrarian every once in a while. <laughs> so, let's see. There has to be a point around here, right? 
you run into a goblin chef. You can tell they're a chef by their hat and their big fork. Well, I guess either they're a chef or they've re recently eaten a chef. Hey, hello, a human. Hey, hello, a goblin. Looking for tuna. Seeing it? Tuna, this being the desert. No tuna here for miles. What you saying? Tuna is local delicacy. Talk, talk to it in goblin talk. I enjoy it. I, I don't, maybe these, maybe these encounters would be less, um, less common or absent entirely if I didn't speak goblin tongue. It seems like it would be a waste. It's like the only, it's the only ability I can think of that hasn't, has such a, that isn't a core stat and has such a direct and active effect on whether or not I can have a certain en engagement. Because the other, only other option is fight. Maybe there are other things I can't see. No, because it just grays out things I don't know. Nah. Tuna, you mean a fish swimming thing? Crazy human, a tuna isn't swimming. This is a desert. This a desert. Where to it swimming? It to swimming. Well, yeah, that's my point. A tuna is round and green with red knobs. Pokey spines having. Oh, some kind of cactus, like a prickly pear or something? Yes, duh. Well, I am seeing a great big many tunas not far from here, so now you are mentioning it. I, I'll telling you where if give me giving me that fork. Sure, okay. Point the way. The goblin gives you its fork and you point in a random direction. After all, this is the desert, and you're bound to find plenty of cactuses no matter where you go. That's a pleasant way of looking at it, rather than saying that clearly it's because he's... Uh, he's we don't care how he feels about it uh it's it's we're, we're telling the truth sure respect the goblins all right what 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 is our tuna fork fork is made for shoveling tuna but it's okay to just hit stuff with it if you don't have a lot of tuna to move mysticality um that's funny but You hear a gunshot and a bullet pings off a rock near your feet. You turn around and look for a culprit and see a skeleton a few yards away. A skeleton with a buffalo skull instead of a regular skull. So that's how your day is going. You know, I wasn't getting XP off of hornswoggling those goblins. Um, but this is a skeleton. Surely this... Hmm, you know, judging from the apparent ages of your bones, I'd say it's pretty likely that the guy your skeleton is, fr is from is related to or at least an associate of the person who killed the buffalo who your skull is from. In fact, it's possible that it could be the same person. How do you feel about that? The skeleton stares at your feet, or the skeleton stares at you for a few more seconds, then looks at her hand, then attempts to bite the hand off. You stroll away as she attempts to wrestle herself to the ground. Sweet. Uh, all right, let's give this a couple of more rounds and then I'm just going to skip it because like, I, I was hoping that map would be meaningful. You encounter the ghost of a dead cowboy who is wailing, gnashing his teeth, and generally seeming very frustrated about it, how his life has gone, or more likely how it stopped going. Hmm. Uh, have I fought a ghost before? Got a lot of HP. You know, I probably should have just healed now that I think about it. That damage is so low and because I'm gonna be playing catch up on the heals. Yeah, so I'm already behind. I'm losing 10 a turn, so this is kind of rough already. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm good. Ooh, that was kind of close, though. That was a surprisingly difficult fight. Alice has become stronger. All right. Well, cool. It's been a while since that's happened. All right. This is not going anywhere. So, um, hmm. 
I don't even remember how we see anything about our... Be wandering Sally. Ain't seen her in quite a while. You know her? I wouldn't say I know her, but she's passed through Boring Springs a few times. She doesn't keep a set route, so it's a bit more erratic than other traders. Yeah, no details. I don't... Did I forget again? This interface is... I mean, it's just barely functional. Um... I don't know. Oh well. Um, yeah, I think I'll call I'll call it there, and then try and we'll we'll make a different wandering later. I don't really know what to make of uh, that map, or if I should make anything of it at all. Maybe I should just ignore it. Anyway. 